Anthony Albanese is worried, very worried, about this weekend's Dunkley by-election. So worried that he's spinning wildly using some very dodgy numbers. I'll explain that in just a moment. But first up, the real giveaway about the PM's desperation was the way he trotted out to do breakfast television this morning. I got messages from, from you guys and from... from uh... Richard Wilkins sent me a lovely message oh. as well there. Oh, he loves a wedding. And it's, uh, he, <laughs> he, 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 he does. He, he, he loves a party. No, he wasn't out there to discuss his engagement, but rather he wanted to boast about the passage of his broken election promise tax cuts through Parliament last night. And our own Laura Jays pointed out that rather than the tax cuts, voters might be focused on his failure to keep his word. Look, you've changed tax cuts after saying that you wouldn't. You're unable to keep that uh, promise because of circumstances to bring down electricity prices. The housing target looks like a, a pipe dream at the moment, Prime Minister. There's a pattern here, isn't there? There's a pattern of us doing the right thing by mm. Australians. The right but thing. But not being we able to keep your word. Laura. Indeed, has the damage already been done? The voters of Dunkley will give us an inkling of that on Saturday. Remember, the margin in, in this by-election is 6.3%. And the Prime Minister has trotted out a number that seems to pretend he can't lose. That is, even if he loses the seat, it's nothing unusual. It's a by-election. By-elections are difficult. The average swing in a by-election away from the government uh, since the Hawke government, since 1983, is 7%, uh, 7.1 to be precise. Uh, we <laughs> hold the seat by 6.3%. Uh, so, I'm just trying to you know, keep up. It, 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 is a, <laughs> it is a by-election and they're difficult. Really? Who knows where he gets that figure. On that number, Dunkley would be gone. And the PM would say, that's not a vote against him, it's just an average swing against the government. So let's check some numbers. Not all by-elections are contested by the major parties. So let's go to the ABC's election guru, Anthony Green, who says that since 1983, there have been 28 by-elections contested between the two major parties. And the average swing against the government has been 3.5%. It's higher against Labor governments, 4.7%, and lower at 2.3% against coalition governments. So there are the real numbers. Anything over 3.5% is worse than average in this by-election and therefore a bad indicator for the government. And a swing above 4.7% is even worse than a Labor government normally gets. So don't give us this 7% would just be average nonsense. If the Albanese Labor government loses the seat or goes close to losing it, then Albo and his team will know they are in deep trouble broken promise tax cuts and all. By the way, it's the Prime Minister's birthday on Saturday, so he'll either get a gift or an ominous wake-up call.